Today is another IFR skill building day with Anita. She's new to instrument flying and just transitioning from the en route environment and navigating airways to the approach environment. Today we're working on 500 foot per minute descents at 90 knots, a critical skill for flying a glide slope or a glide path. You can't see it, but she's wearing foggles, which means she can't see out the window. And we've just arrived at the practice area. Let's do it on a heading of 060, maybe just a slight left turn before okay. you start. 060 left. Marshall 7073 Heavy, counting tower 1 to 7.2. 772 and Marshall 7073, right. There you go, and then whenever you're ready, do you remember, okay. do you want me to, do you remember, you want to talk through it or anything? Um, let's talk through it, so you want to get to, well, do you want to get to 90, right? Yeah, you first slow down, so the, you know, power back, power and, back and hold your right. pitch until you're somewhere around 90 knots, yeah, and then okay. gently let the pitch fall to 500 feet. In instrument flying, just like in visual flying, we set sight pictures and then verify we're getting the performance we want. In this case, we're looking for 90 knots of airspeed and 500 feet per minute. So first slow the airplane down and when the speed approaches 90, gently let the nose fall to a new sight picture and verify you're getting 500 feet per minute down on the VSI. After that, it's convenient to think of pitch as controlling vertical speed and power as controlling airspeed. You're pitching to 500, powering to 90. You're trying to maintain your... No, well, now you are, but once you hit 90, see how your airspeed's right there, you're at 90? Yeah. Now gently power back a little more and let the nose fall. Power back a little more, don't let that 90, because now you're powering to 90. Oh, I see. Pitching to 500, pitch forward to 500. There you go, like that. And again, keep working with it. Yeah. The pitch is really sensitive. Yeah. So like you can catch 500 right there, boom, catch yeah. it, like that. Oh, and it'll react almost immediately, yeah. like that, right? Yep. Yeah. Speed and speed's a little delayed. It's it's okay. powering to 90, but this is it. If okay. you do that, this is your. If there's no wind, this is your glide okay. slope or your glide path. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, right, yeah, so you do want me descending. I do. At this point. Yeah. yeah, I know absolutely. Yeah, right, and so we be at 500. right. Yeah. Let's imagine in this scenario that your decision altitude is 3,000 feet. So at 3,000, I want you to enter a VY climb. You're going to yeah. come out of this. By the way, remember we said about 1,700? Yeah, that's about perfect. Right. Yeah. Okay, pro tip. It's extremely helpful to know what power setting works ahead of time. Note this the next time you fly. What's required won't always be exactly the same, but it will be darn close for most light airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Pitch forward for five. Yep, good. And you, so you're primarily flying the plane, remember yeah. with the sight picture, checking this yeah. stuff here. Remember to aim small on your sight picture and measure the performance. The next step is to add some ILS needles to see how that performance is working for course guidance. Let's see how Anita did. Yeah. Yep. Okay. NorCal approach, November 106, Romeo Alpha, Cessna Skyhawk. Uh, at the 58680, requesting ILS uh, localizer DMA runway to a right practice approach, Oakland. So Anita is brand new to this, and I was handling some of the setup for her. The point here was to see how the exercise we did worked against actual ILS needles. Let's pick it up just outside the final approach fix to Oakland's runway 28 right. Should I have said more than that? No, that's all right. Just watch this needle. When it's one dot that's of... 106 from the Alpha Open Turf. You're inbound on the ILS. Inbound on the ILS 28 right, 106 from the Alpha. As a six Romeo Alpha following regional jet on a one and a half mile final, caution wake comes runway two right, clear to land. Two eight right, clear to land. Uh, one zero six Romeo Alpha. All right, good. Now do what I do what I taught you about this 500 foot per minute descent. Yes. And give yourself time because right before the needle hits, like when it hits the top circle, yeah. top of that white circle, good. Power back for 90 first. Power back to 90. Hold your pitch for a sec. Oh, I see. Yeah. Good. And then don't worry about the needle. If you do everything right, this is going to work. You're just going to use the needles to check it. Good. Now pitch down to 500 feet per minute. Yep. Hold 90 knots at 500 feet per minute. And that's your glide slope. Okay. Yep. I suppose it helps to know what's coming in anything we do. But in flying, that's the whole game. Know your power settings. Know your sight pictures. And know that a 90 knot ground speed and a 500 foot per minute descent will almost certainly hold a glide slope. This is one of the first ILS approaches Anita has ever flown and it looks like she's on rails. She did a great job. My thanks to her and to you for watching this video. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of uploads and come visit us online at learnthefinerpoints.com.